So to access the toolkit, once you've got it installed, view sidebar, view sidebar, and that'll give us the access to the tab where we gain, gain access to all the features. So we've got room tool, furniture tool, attachment tool, which is attachments, accessories, I should say, clothing, not tried that yet, an animation tool. So to use any of these, doesn't matter which, we have to always start from a clean scene. So new and then just general. That just reloads the scene. So view, sidebar, I view tool, go to create an animation. Click the append animation. Right, so it looks like then switch to pose mode. So make sure the skeleton is selected. Switch to pose mode. So it's not showing us the IKs by default. So, so if we toggle those off and then back on, we notice that the skeleton changes so we now have these control points so that's the ik so we're just pressing the g key and that allows us to move the arm or the bone chain and if we have let's just reset that so select all alt r and alt g that resets so we're going to auto key let's switch the dope sheet for the action editor. Right, so we're going to set auto key. So all we need to do is click on that. Whoops. Select our control point. We don't necessarily need to select the individual things um, for the fingers in particular, because unless we're actually manipulating the fingers. So just for the general pose to start with, Select the control points, so that's these shapes. And there'll be one at the foot. So we've got back of the foot, which controls the leg, so that's the heel. So if we press the G key, that does that to the leg. So if we click on the sole or the footprint, press the G key, that moves the entire leg. And then we've got other control points that do different things relative to the skeleton. And they're all relative to these points that should generally stay unedited, shouldn't be edited. So let's just do a quick quick pose. So it should, there it is. So it doesn't auto insert when you, whoops. So some of them have also, they're tied to the spot in the sense that the foot anchors the bone in position or anchors the, the limb in position. Bit of Irish clog dancing there. Keep an eye on the elbows and the shoulder, not twisting.
So we've got quite a lot of control, although we have to be careful how the mesh deforms. We can suppose that we eventually end up with I'm going to look something like that. So let's check, see what this has done. So it's not creating. Oh yes it is, so what it's doing then, let's uncheck this, so we want show all, that shows all the control elements that we've manipulated. So here we've got a problem in the shape of the arm. So what we can do is select the elbow, um, that's the orientation, so Watch what happens when we move this. So we've got different ways to control the position of the elbows, the rotation, by moving different control points. Let's just save this file, save as. Toolkit test. One. Save as, and then to export, we don't do what we would normally do. Don't need to do that. For export, we expand the export tool options. So we've got a pose. That's our pose. And what we do is click the export button. And this should produce a file based on the name that we've given the project. So toolkit test brackets one. So click that. It'll do its thing. And then we should find we have an FBX file. So this is our FBX. It's a binary file, not ASCII. So that's our FBX, but we should be able to import that directly into Studio. There it is. So that's Studio. Create. Now for this, what do we derive from? Because they've changed the empties. Because ordinarily you would use empty mood. We can try using the female avatar derive. Don't know if this will work because obviously it's different to classic. So import FBX avatar. Toolkit test open. One skeleton, zero animation. Nah. 86 bones. We don't have to do anything with the scale. Next, next. So it hasn't picked up our animation for some reason. So I'm not quite sure why that is. Unless it's still subject to the same limitation that we've always had where we need to prep the file so that we have copy copy pose p 
paste pose. I'm going to do this whole reset thing again. So let's save this, save as two. And then export that. Close that. Let's re import this. Number two. Yeah, so it's subject to the same limitation, I guess, then, that unless that's going to change. So we still have to prep the file for a static pose with our – where's it gone? With this. So we still have to do this by the looks of things. That might change in future updates, though. So we still have to have static pose, static pose, reset. And then export. So let's try and see what that does. So we don't have to do anything here. No materials. There's our animation. Review. Import. Yeah. That's gone all screwy because it's using the imported skeleton that we just brought in. So reset that to the original female O3 moss root. Right, so animation action. So let's do the stance standing. So we'll replace that. Oh, we've got lots of these. So click config so we should have animation control armature so what did we set so it's frame one frame two So I have to do that with all of them. So this is why you don't use the avatar for this. There we go. So it's still a little tricky, but it's a lot easier from the point of view of creating the actual pose. It's just that the export process, we still have to go through the export prep where we're doing the whole duplicate, duplicate and reset. Otherwise, it just won't work. But again, that might change at some point in the future. So let's just frame two. Zero place. So obviously, if this were an animated pose. We're still basically doing the same thing, always essentially doing in IMVU or in Studio, is setting the duration or the start and end points to different keyframes. 
of the animation. But that's the pose. And we can see that we've got a much cleaner mesh deformation using the tool because it's got all the IKs and stuff set up correctly. There's a little bit wonky here, so watch the joints. Keep an eye on how the mesh deforms at the joints because the IK looks like it's set up to control the leg up to the thigh bone which means that the hip bone is going to be treated in the same way that the shoulder bone is. It's going to be treated a slightly different way than using the IK versus the hip bone. So keep an eye on that. But that's it. That's, I say that's it. That's the tool and it works. So file, let's just save this, save as toolkit test two save so that's that's how the tools were uh, how you use a tool so save so just to summarize start from a new project view sidebar I view studio toolkit click on the animation tool if you want to do poses click on append animation file that drops in everything that we need we may need to then toggle these off and then back on so that they appear when we switch to pose mode, so make sure this is the armature or the, the control rig is selected. Pose mode. Yeah, so we have to toggle them on and off. And then we get the control points, which we then just manipulate. We're using the G key to move, R to rotate. And that just poses a skeleton. And then obviously to create the actual animated sequence, we can set auto key on, but we need to change the timeline to the dope sheet and then change the dope sheet to the action editor. And then from here, we'll set auto key. And then to see all the control points that we manipulate, disable or turn this off which is show all and then all we do is just pose and it automatically drops in our keyframe and then for export prep we need to make sure that we prep the file so we're duplicating the pose so select all pose copy pose move the timeline scrubber to another frame pose paste pose that'll drop in a duplicate of all the control points at that point but and then to another frame pose clear transform all or we can use the shortcut keys alt G alt R we don't need scale but that's alt S and that'll reset and then just export. So export tool, click on export and it'll save the file providing the file has been saved, the project has been saved. But that's how we use the file. So that is in a nutshell how the pose kit or the tool, pose tool is used.